Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 22nd, 2023. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of a struggle in the market, particularly in the diamonds and, and IWM, while the NASDAQ enjoyed a really nice rebound, um, particularly on the back of NVIDIA. Um, NVIDIA is going to be reporting earnings on Wednesday, and there is tremendous anticipation about this earnings report, and there seems to be quite a willingness from speculators to charge in ahead of the earnings. So pushing that up and that helped lead some of the big techs higher yesterday. Well, what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Remember, the purpose of these videos is to remove all bias, to just look at the price action of the charts, to remove all prediction, and then really trying to focus in on what could happen today if the bulls or the bears become inspired. If we take a look here at the diamonds, you can see we're pushing against a substantial level of price resistance in the chart. And although we pushed down yesterday to a new low, we were able to make it back in the afternoon. And you can see here in the pre-market, well, you can barely see it. You can see that little tiny candle sticking up in there. We are trying to show a little bit of bullishness this morning in the futures, trying to push through that level. So watch that area closely. If the bulls can continue to find that inspiration to push, let's take a look. Um, we've got an area of resistance right in here. Let me pull this across. You can see there's those two high points in the chart right there, creating that little bit of area of resistance. If we can push through there, then we start looking at this big old black candle and this big white candle right here, the resistance high of that. And then one more step, we would come up into here. Now let's keep in mind as we try to do that, we still got a 50 day moving average up here that we need to deal with. And unfortunately that kind of comes into play before we even reach those high points over here on the left side of the chart. So watch that carefully. We may still have a little bit of work to do to get up through that 50 day moving average. And then of course, S&P downgrading some of our banks today certainly does not help that situation. Now we do also want to keep in mind that we still have a downtrend in play here. Uh, and as we rally back up, that will be in the, in the way or in the path of that recovery. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY had a pretty good day yesterday. Notice that we pushed right on through. Um, SPY enjoyed a big tech rally yesterday along with the NASDAQ, pushing through this resistance in the chart. So if those bulls can continue to find that bullish inspiration to the upside, well, let's look up in here for that next resistance level in the chart. And we do want to keep in mind that right up there is a 50 day moving average as well as an accumulation of shorter term moving averages that will provide some technical resistance if we move back up there. Also, you'll want to keep in mind that we have broken the upside trend here in the SPY where the diamonds is still working to hold onto that trend. So, um, by the way, I forgot here in the diamonds, if the bears were to reverse this and find inspiration today, where would we go? And I would suggest that we would probably come right back down into here to retest that support level from yesterday. And you'll notice there's a little bit of price support in here as well that could hold it as well as the trend. If um, once again on that spy, if the bears were to find inspiration today and unable to push through, then I would suggest a retest of support area right in here 
And if they can't uh, are unable to hold that, then we would come down to this next level here. So watch that carefully today. But right now we're seeing a pretty good um, um, uh, lift here in the SPY again with NVIDIA trying to lead the way, pushing things up. Um, it really does surprise me um, with options and things being about 140% implied volatility. The wild speculation um, heading into an earnings report that this market is willing to do in NVIDIA. Just imagine if it were pretty much priced to perfection on NVIDIA, if it were to just disappoint, beat earnings but disappoint, um, how quickly that could reverse to the downside. So be careful if you're one of those folks trying to trade into that. Speaking of big tech, let's take a look at the QQQ. QQQ rallying pretty nicely. Notice what we're trying to pop through this little downtrending area here with that surge into the NASDAQ. Uh, one of the things we are also ignoring here in the QQQ are the rising bond rates. Yields continuing to push higher. As a matter of fact, our two-year bonds are at a 2007 high. And remember, lending, borrowing is a very big component of the QQQ. And um, the NASDAQ um, is trying to ignore that at the moment with this rally back. And, and again, big hopes on NVIDIA. So watch that closely. Uh, pushing through that area is very, very important uh, for the NASDAQ in this rebound. And then keeping in mind that above that, we still have the 50 and we've got that accumulation of um, uh, shorter term moving averages to provide that technical resistance. If the bulls can continue to find this inspiration today, then I would suggest that we would push right on through and right up into that 50 day moving average in this substantial resistance area in the chart. Watch that closely. Now this certainly will have broken that trend, but maybe not that trend. And you can see right in here, that could line up right in that area. And of course we have broken the upside trend in the QQQ. So any lower high in here would be a problem. If the uh, bears were to, for some reason, find inspiration today, where would we go? Well, you can see this support right in here. Maybe we push back into here. And if that were to fail, then once again, we're looking at that possibility that we come on back down into that area of the chart. Let's take a look at our IWM. IWM also struggled here yesterday to really gain any traction. If you uh, look in here, we sold off, but we didn't go as low as the Dow making a new low but you can see we've got a kind of a funky little topping pattern going on here in the chart which if you um, if we're not able to get going you could kind of see this building out into here and that possible head and shoulders being formed here in the IWM. But if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration today, then let's look for this opportunity that we could rally back up into here in this resistance. We broke back above this level, which I think is a good sign for a relief rally in IWM, which we are overdue for, by the way. And if we take a look, uh, pushing up into here, we're also going to run in to that 50 day moving average resistance um, and technical resistance um, above, which is kind of coming in right in underneath that trend break that we see here in the Russell. So watch that carefully. If the bears were to find inspiration, then I would suggest possible pushback that we would test this level. And if that fails, we probably come back into here. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX bounced around here just a little bit yesterday. You can see as we sold off early in the day, we popped early in the morning and then immediately sold back off and had the diamonds go down to new lows. But as you can see, that created a little bit of fear here um, early in the day. And then as we rallied back, we push back down into that support level. Once again, I keep talking about you know this problem. This is the first time in a very long time we made higher lows in the VIX. So there is a little bit of concern here in the market. As we continue to push up, let's look and see if we can break this back down here into this trend area of the chart. 
that's where we'll be watching those resistance levels in the indexes to see whether or not those bears come back in and push that back higher. If you're a bull in the market and you want to see the market just zoom back to the top side, then what you want to see is you want to see this VIX come down into here and then break this on down. Um, take out that upside trend here on the market. Let's take a look at our T21. 22 our t2122 has been signaling for a couple three days that we are oversold and need a little bit of relief what you'll notice here is we didn't get a lot of that yesterday you know when we have just a handful of big tech surging the 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 nasdaq up we get the impression that the overall market is recovering and recovering well but if you look right here the four week new high new low ratio in t2122 and not so much we are still in the bearish uh or excuse me bullish reversal zone looking for that relief but yesterday we didn't get that much certainly there were select stock names that rallied in the nasdaq but that was about the size of it there just wasn't a whole lot of growth in the market yesterday so watch this closely we do need a relief rally um, and if we can break out of this area and start moving up that would be a nice little thing to see now i think that still sets up that possibility that the bears could come back in particularly with the downgrade we got from s p today on the banks we're starting to add these worries on the financials not only over in china but also here in the united states so watch that carefully we're due for for a relief so it's not a surprise to see us pushing up in the pre-market let's hope we can hold on to that today and not sell back off if we take a look at our t2108 well t2108 also showed us that while we got the impression that everything was recovering with that big surge in the nasdaq overall the percentage of stocks above the 40-day actually weakened into the close yesterday only 31 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average we are holding here on a price support area so that's a good sign for us and we are overdue for that relief so if we can use that area to bounce back up we can look for those next resistance levels in the chart here on uh, t2108 and the same thing is true as the t2107 internally even though we had the nasdaq surging with a few you know that handful of stocks rallying notice we didn't get a whole lot of love here either t2107 uh, barely improved over um, uh, the day before on friday 44% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average. So we're holding here on some price support. Let's see if we can get a little bit of that relief coming in and push us up into here. Because if we were to break these back down, I would worry that we could see some panic starting to come into the market. If we take a look at our T2101, this is a good sign for us as we try that relief rally. You'll notice in here that the breadth continues to push to the upside. Now, unfortunately, there was so much selling in the market yesterday. I'm not sure that we could say this is an increasing breadth on the buy wave. But we'll want to watch that closely if we can surge today maybe we could say hey the bulls are strong enough here they're surging in that breadth to the upside we'll want to watch this little downtrend area although trends aren't really that big a thing here in the breadth chart we'll want to watch this area up here to see if we can break that through and get a little bit more enthusiasm going in the market Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar is telling us that we've got, um, well, just a little bit of, of uh, data to be concerned about. We've got some Fed speak here today that we'll want to be watching. Of course, we've got existing home sales coming in here at 10 a.m. Eastern, and then the Richmond Fed as well. Richmond Fed is expected to come in again at a negative number, but just a little tiny improvement over last time from the consensus. However, if you remember the Empire State Manufacturing number, they were suggesting a little improvement, although a negative, and it missed huge. So we are now nine months in uh, um, our 
manufacturing sector in decline. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. We've been able to ignore that um, here in the market. Uh, for a long, long time, surging back up, although our manufacturing is struggling hard. Keep a close eye on that. We've got some bond announcements and money supply here today, which probably won't make any difference for us. And then as we look into Wednesday, mortgage applications, PMI flash, new home sales, petroleum status, two-year bond auction, which right now is at a 2007 high, pushing those rates higher and I think probably continuing to weigh heavily on those uh, those banks uh, because it's causing an awful lot of pressure in there, making it difficult it, uh, for them to loan at all um, and making it uh, difficult for the consumers to continue to spend. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar for today. Now our earnings calendar, we've got a little bit more going on than we did yesterday, which is a good thing, maybe provide some inspiration here on the market. We're gonna hear from BJ. Um, we've got a lot of um, kind of a retail theme going on here uh, today. But uh, BJ's wholesale um, gapping down this morning, popping back up in the pre-market, trying to get some bullishness going there. Um, SCIQ will be, let's see if I can type the right symbol. SCIQ, huh. I, I might have transposed a number or a letter here. Um, I'm going to have to check that one, guys. Give me, um, uh, I'll repair that on the um, blog this morning before I send it out. Let's take a look at um, Cody. Cody um, reporting today, feeling just a little bit of bearishness. We've got uh, DKS um, looking pretty ugly here this morning, and gapping substantially lower on its report. Uh, big rejection of this resistance chart in Dick Sporting Goods. We've got the um, a lazy boy that will be reporting today. We have heard from Lowe's. Um, they're trying to push higher despite a little bit of a miss in um, some of their numbers, but trying to push higher. Uh, Macy's um, also trying to pop higher this morning earlier, but now seeing a little bit of a pushback after their report here today, so keep an eye on that. We've got MDT reporting today. A little bit of pop and drop going on there as well. Later on this afternoon, we're gonna hear from Toll Brothers. And then of course, we've got Urban Outfitters reporting today as well. Um, not much going on in there just yet, I'm waiting for that report. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me that favor and please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click the bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, and that would be click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that and just that reminder that even an emoji um, counts as um, engagement with the video so thank you very very much i do try to answer um, those comments it it is that important to me so thank you for everyone who does take the time let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you're going to have to do your own due diligence be very very careful in this market because the volatility is likely going to remain high with um, uh, worries about our banks worries about bonds worries is about what's going on in China. Just look for that volatility to stay relatively high. Let's take a look here. TLRY. I placed an alert on TLRY. It pulled back yesterday and what I'm honestly hoping is that this will tighten up this consolidation pattern. This is just a preliminary alert up here to uh, catch it if it were to move. I'm not saying I would even buy it there. Um, and this would be, um, although I trade a lot of options, this would be a straight up stock trade. Um, anything 
anything in this range there's just no point in really messing around with the options but if this were to rest in here and tighten up this consolidation for a period of time that's what I'd like to see holding in here on that price support and then I'd be looking for that next opportunity to the upside in TLROI remember Tilray had the deal with Anheuser-Busch buying eight of their big brand names um, as uh, Anheuser-Busch tries to unload and recover uh, from their uh, major marketing um, um, backlash going on here and um, this is a big windfall for Telray so watch that close if we take a look at um, the commodity um, area I mentioned CCJ yesterday and my goodness um, it really took off broke the alert pushing to the upside trying to extend here today and you can still see um, the benefits of, of uh, following along in this sector when you take a look at URA another uranium play pushing up through here trying to break out um, you also stretching to the upside breaking through some resistance in the chart and trying to stretch on higher so keep an eye on that which is kind of a um, unique thing to be seeing happening with the dollar showing this much strength after breaking through resistance in here what we want to do on the US dollar now is start watching this area if we rest up in here we could certainly continue to see that dollar go up particularly as our bond yields continue to stretch to the upside and we'll well that's putting pressure on the overall market should be having a major effect on the Nasdaq but with that enthusiasm for um, the report in Nvidia we're just really ready to pump those back up so watch that closely if we continue to see those bond yields running up how that's going to affect the strength of the US dollar take a look at energy in here um, yesterday we had a pretty good surge up in energy and then it kind of faded um, just a bit by the close but you'll see in oil sector stocks this is a beautiful little pattern in here rallied strongly broke through resistance we're holding that area in here I would watch for that next opportunity that ConocoPhillips could maybe pop through and move up now we do have to worry about the fact that rising gas prices could easily affect um, our inflationary rate um, you know we're about 60% higher in gas prices since the beginning of the pandemic um, that's putting a lot of pressure on the consumer out there so watch that closely let's take a look at some other stocks APA also setting up in a pattern you can see I alerted that up here as we consolidate out to trend looking for that next opportunity for that to push through to the upside if we take a look at some other places um, in the market uh, take a look at DKNG now DKNG rallying back up here on this relief rally but I got to tell you as we rally back into these resistance levels in the chart I would be watching DKNG for that next opportunity that it could falter and sell off. Now this is a pretty good support area, but we have to start watching for some of these um, short trades right now as well. Um, breaking trends and looking up, um, not so hot here in DKNG. If we take a look at other places like um, um, some of the airlines, uh, DAL, uh, pushing down definitely in a downtrend here we're seeing that pressure on the consumer showing up in some of these consumer related stocks any rally back sets up um, a potential downtrend take a look at on the same theme of travel take a look at CCL these high flyers are now finding a little bit of resistance coming into play any rally back into those downtrends would set up more shorting opportunities in CCL so watch that closely and we can even go um, even in a big tech and see the same thing we've been moving in these downtrends here in the chart this rally back up rally back up into these resistance levels if we cannot push through there or hold a higher low 
then I would see that possibility that we could continue to drift lower, particularly if our rates continue to push higher here in the market. Let's take a look at Kohl's. Kohl's had a pretty good day yesterday pushing up um, breaking through um, a, an alert here that I had in the chart and pushing through now we've got this little a lot of retail going on today and we're getting a lot of pops and drops we're kind of seeing the same thing here on Kohl's but breaking through up in here if this can rest up in this area then I would watch for that next opportunity that this could uh, resume that uptrend to the upside take a look at um, the gap stores gap stores also potentially setting up in here nice little resting pattern in that chart looking for that next upside opportunity there um, take a look at um, Disney now Disney struggling here a bunch but the one thing you can say about Disney is right now is at least we're holding this support level in the chart if you were to speculate particularly on a longer term that Disney is going to hold this big level of price support it may be time to start looking at at some entries maybe nibbling in or picking up some possibly some bull put crowd spreads to see if that's going to rally to the upside however I will say that if Disney drops through here you'll want to watch that pretty closely because there is a big opening underneath this look at that weekly in here that's a big hole uh, that this could drop into without a whole lot of price support. We'd maybe come all the way back down into here on Disney if that continues to fail. So watch that closely. We're seeing some of those stocks um, looking pretty ugly um, along those lines as well. So let's take, um, well, I guess I better cut this off. I'm running out of time. I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. I want to wish you all kinds of success in your trading today. We'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Wish you all the best.